Hello everyone, myself Giri, faculty of Home Institute for Power System subject. So, Manandar Telsu, Genco notification Ochindi. So, yesterday only, yesterday only we have seen notification from TS Genco. So, and uh, notification details, number of force, okay, and uh, selection criteria, pay scale, any information Manandar Telsu. But major ga manam tells ko also information intende syllabus gurinji. Okay. So especially syllabus related to electrical paper. Okay. So electrical paper lo old subjects endi. And old subjects le even extra topics add a ya. Yedan kota subjects add a ya. So information anta manam detail ga tells kundam. Dan tarawata. So home institute ninchi oka offline batch and online batch. Okay. So regarding uh, to cover all these extra topics okay that also we are going to discuss so first we will see uh, syllabus for electrical paper see electrical materials okay if you notice that is a first subject so truly speaking it is a new subject okay so this is a new subject it's a completely new subject <clears throat> in last year syllabus this last i mean last time uh, genco exam syllabus this topic was not there but this time uh, it is mentioned so electrical material it is a uh, new subject for us then electric circuits and fields so electric circuits and field it is just like our uh, general syllabus whatever we st i mean we pre we already prepared for uh, ts spdcl ts npdcl and uh, ts psc exam okay the syllabus if you compare with that this is as it is same there is no much change even <coughs> electrical and electronic measurements if you see this part there is a there are some new topics are added okay new new topics means especially transducers basics of sensor and basics of data acquisition system so these topics generally we are not studied when we prepared for our uh, ts spdcl ts npdcl and tspc exams these topics we are not really studied and these topics are now mentioned and in uh, electrical and electronics measurements subject okay now if you see analog and digital electronics okay so name course of analog and digital electronics is chin gani dean lo okay extra subject add jason do chala students e topics in this station under even kuna wante analog and digital electronics and manak tension analog electronics and digital electronics in ankunam but it could be clear observe yes there okay ikkada meer chudandi ok sari ikkada varake analog and digital electronics operational amplifiers ninchi okay so active filters work ikkada varake analog and digital electronics and ee topics gurinchi manaku already chadukunnam kuda manam when we are preparing for spdcl and pdcl exams but ikkada kotta ga add ayina topics endante microprocessors microprocessors kuda spdcl and pdcl syllabus lo undi but general ga microprocessors manam odilestamu but uh, uh, last year ts genco exam lo oka i mean uh, maybe two or three questions are given from what microprocessors okay so kabatti i can say this is also an extra part right this is an extra part now let's see this is what after this uh, uh, this basics of uh, linear integrated circuits this is uh, covered in already analog you know this is uh, op amp and its applications but if you see from here analog communication modulation and demodulation now you can see all these things all these things i can say this is a, a new subject i can say new subject means communication subjects generally ec people will study this communications so and indirectly get the complete ga analog communication digital communication include cheshindu in mana electrical paper lo okay so this is also a new subject new subject already oka chusamu electrical materials ani ipudu idoka new subject what is this analog and digital communications okay clear <coughs> now we'll move on after this let's see systems and signal processing it is just like our signal system subject ఇప్పుడు జనరల్ సిగ్నల్ సిస్టమ్ సబ్జెక్ట్ కి టిఎస్ జెన్కోలో ఇచ్చిన సిగ్నల్ సిస్టమ్ సబ్జెక్ట్స్ కి ఒక ఎక్స్ట్రా టాపిక్ ఉంది మీరు క్లియర్ గా అబ్జర్వ్ చేస్తే సో ఈ జనరల్ గా మనము గేట్ సిలబస్ లో చూసేదైనా ఎస్పీడిసిఎల్ ఎన్పీడిసిఎల్ సిలబస్ లో ఈ టాపిక్ అనేది ఉండదు మనకు డిస్క్రిట్ ఫోర్ ఇయర్ ట్రాన్స్ఫార్మ్స్ 
एफ एफ टी लीनियर कन्वल्यूशन डिस्क्रीट कोसाइन ट्रांसफॉर्म एफ आई आर फिल्टर आई आर फिल्टर बाय लीनियर ट्रांसफॉर्मेशन सो दिस पार्ट जनरली we will we are not studied when we prepared for our gen, uh, our spd cell and mpd cell exams okay so i can say this is also a new topic in signal system subject now coming to uh, control system there is no much uh, change in control system subject okay so strictly speaking uh, no change in syllabus when it comes to control system subject even electrical machines also no change but when it comes to power systems power system subject you can closely observe this so power system lo so extra topics ganaka chuste ganaka hvdc transmission and facts these topics generally they are not covered and even in our home institute also when we are taught for ts uh, spdcl npdcl batches we are not covered these two topics because that is not part of the syllabus that's why we are not covered i can say these are the extra topics hvdc transmission and facts concepts and concept of power system dynamics means what it is a part of stability okay clear so there is no much emphasis is required for this but smart grid concepts batteries and battery charges now these parts are are these topics are extra these topics are extra in power system subject now we'll move on to the next subject power plant engineering see power plant engineering spdcl npdcl even tspsc exams for electrical engineering paper it was not mentioned okay it is really a new topic okay but maybe you are written last year last time uh, ts denco paper in that paper also this topic was mentioned or this subject was mentioned okay clear i am not saying that it is a new subject okay but till today we are already prepared for what our spdcl npdcl even polytechnic lecture exams and tspsc awe exams we are already prepared but we are not studied this topic even if you see previous questions from this topic you can find only in what last year genco paper last year genco paper so from this topic six questions are given six questions are given okay from this topic only six questions are given okay only those are the six questions i can say previous questions okay so really speaking special emphasis is required for this topic this year also okay i can say at least you can get what four to five questions from this topic okay but i can say this power plant engineering having three sub topics three different parts one is the power generation concept that is what generally we study in power generation subject okay that is clearly mentioned basics of power generation concepts hydro thermal nuclear wind solar either i can say uh, conventional and non conventional energy sources and apart from that okay there is a uh, topic called economic power generation so we already studied the topic economic power generation if you really notice here uh, power plant economics that's what it is clearly mentioned power plant economics power plant economics capital cost investment fixed charges operating cost arrangement load curves connected load maximum demand demand factor so all these things all these things we are already studied but environmental consideration environmental consideration to till this point okay i'm not reading but environmental consideration to till okay so the design types and application till this what is this mentioned it is part of what mechanical syllabus even here also you can see uh, combustion process especially so combustion process okay so even this uh, steam power plants with uh, steam power plants with uh, subcritical and uh, supercritical technology combustion process gas turbine plant direct energy conversion so in this also if you notice there is some mechanical portion is included okay so i can say the power plant engineering having three parts one is the power plant economics second one is the power generation concepts and third one is related to core mechanical okay core mechanical concepts clear sir core mechanical concepts are there power plant economics is there and also what power generation concept clear sir so that's about the power plant engineering okay please don't neglect this topic definitely you can expect 4 to 6 marks from this topic also and clear uh, i can say this is also a new topic for us why because we are not studied till now 
okay the people who prepared for 2016 or 2015 genco they might be studied this topic but from last okay 7 to 8 years no uh, electrical engineering paper this topic was included so that's why i'm saying it is also a new topic for us okay clear then after that let's see power electronics and drives yes in power electronics and drives also one extra topic is included that is what resonant converters resonant converters okay this is an extra topics okay now when it comes to the next subject thermodynamics yes this is a new subject for us this is a completely new subject it's a completely new subject for us right or not because it's a mechanical subject it's a completely new subject for us next if you notice yeah <coughs> heat transfer this is also a completely new subject for us heat transfer also a completely new subject so that means truly speaking there are three mechanical subjects are added number one heat transfer okay number two thermodynamics okay from these two subjects it's what my opinion so maybe we can expect uh, approximately uh, 8 to 10 marks uh, that means 8 to 10 questions from these two topics okay and power plant engineering power plant engineering okay let's see here the power plant engineering also if i consider as a new subject then from this subject also i can expect what at least 5 marks so 8 plus 5 13 marks from the mechanical part we can expect extra 13 marks okay clear sir but don't expect uh, such a uh, depth questions from thermodynamics and uh, uh, heat transfer topics okay from these two subjects because see these are the newly added subjects and that too core electrical engineering people will not study i mean these subjects that's why generally if you know the basic idea about these subjects basic formulas basic uh, fundamental rules okay that's more than sufficient okay and small problems also clear sir so that's about the syllabus if you really notice again i'm saying <laughs> heat transfer new subject thermodynamics new subjects and <clears throat> power plant engineering also a new subject and one extra topic added in power electronics that is resonant converters then power system hvdc transmission smart grid concepts batteries and battery charges these are extra topics and if you notice uh, signals signals and systems okay so these are the extra topics which were added and communication is the extra subject okay so communication is not really part of analog and digital electronics i don't know why he is mentioned like that he has to mention instead of like this communication subject okay it's a separate subject as communication so that, that means a new subject is added here truly speaking and when it comes to the measurements also the new topics are added basics of sensor transducers and basics of data acquisition system and one more new subject is electrical materials okay clear sir so targeting all these subjects okay we are launching a new batch that is from 10th of this month both online and offline mode i will tell you in this online and offline mode offline means what in our institute that is delhi nagar hyderabad okay so there is a new batch going to start from 10th of this month 10th of october 2023 so what are the topics we are going to cover and what are the approximate hours okay heat transfer we are going to cover and that takes 25 hours and thermodynamics also we are going to cover that takes 25 hours actually these two subjects are taken by one of my friend so he is a alumni of iit gauhati so he is done his thermo uh, is done is thermal engineering from iit gauhati so in 2009 and he has a good experience almost uh, 10 years experience in gate a e a w e uh, teaching so he is going to take these two topics heat transfer thermodynamics and also power plant engineering mechanical part okay next when it comes to the power plant engineering electrical part okay so i can say it has two topics again one is the generation part generation part is covered by rashekar sir and the power plant economics part is covered by uh, so giri sir i am only so i am going to cover uh, this 
power plant economic spot hvdc tax and resident converters it is uh, mainly focusing power electronics part that's why shankar sir is going to cover hvdc fax and resident converters analog and digital communication you know so our my sir is going to take analog and digital communication okay and approximately number of hours required for this course is 20 hours and so microprocessors is going to covered by bima shankar sir you know is a ex an academy faculty he is going to take this microprocessor subject and electric materials electric materials covered by kaladeepan sir and our hemant sir hemant sir you know kaladeepan sir working as a uh, lecturer in one of the government polytechnic engineering college in tamil nadu state okay and smart grid concepts and batteries and battery chargers covered by hemant sir sensors and transducers covered by baba sir okay so that's about uh, the course structure okay and that's about the course details so this course will be covered in uh, 30 days approximately we will take 5 to 6 hours per day 4 to 6 hours per day so in weekends so uh, definitely we are going to take a uh, 6 to 8 hours okay weekend approximately 6 to 8 hours and uh, weekdays 5 hours per day and course starts from what 10th october 2023 now you can see the course fee so we are just putting very nominal fee so this is the fee for offline batch offline batch fee is 7999 and 50 percentage discount for all our home students okay and uh, one more batch that is a live batch live batch and what recorded content also available after the live session is over recorded content is available that recorded content you can watch n number of times okay so that is also starts from 10th october okay and the uh, fee was 5999 only and for this batch also 50% is discount for all our home student and one more important thing this live batch you can access from android app ios app even you can access from your laptop okay and uh, even you can access from your ipad also okay ios facility also there okay so that's about the details of our offline batch and what online batch you know offline batch and online batch both are starting from 10th of october 2023 so that's about uh, today's session all the best